Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to go over edge beading. That is getting a nice bead to hug your glass. Um, a good solid bead adds a little bit of strength to your piece rather than just being held together with a tinned piece of foil. And it it looks nicer. It gives your piece a nice finished look. So I hope you find this video helpful. Let's get into it. Okay, so to get ready to beat our edges, the first thing I do is tin the front and back edges. So normally I have a fume extractor running and a respirator mask on, but um, this is just a quick little demo, so um, I want to be able to talk about what I'm doing while I do it. I mean, I suppose I could do a voiceover, but I don't really know how to do that, so. I have the window open, so that's, that's good. Um, okay. So, the front is tinned, the back is tinned, um, I didn't tin the sides because I don't do that, and then I turn my iron down to 360, I put on my little heat resistant glove, that way, because I'm going to have to be holding it parallel to the tabletop. This way I can hold it while I'm soldering and it doesn't get too hot to hold. Okay, let me change the angle of my video. Okay, so now I have my solder unraveled and I just place it down. That way I can take my iron and grab, grab a good glob of solder. And I'm just using the classic 100 gel flux. Take my piece, grab some flux, and just flux all of the edges. So now I'm holding, I'm starting right here, so I'm making sure this part is level because if you start like this or if you start like this, gravity is going to pull that solder where you don't want it to go. And then so I grabbed a glob of solder, tap it on, grab more, and then let that cool for just a couple seconds and then turn. Not gonna lie, this takes a while. And I mean, it depends on how thick of a bead you want. I like my edges to have thick, sturdy beads. And sometimes you want to just hold it there for a second to kind of smooth it out so you don't get a bunch of weird lines on your edge.
This is also taking me extra long because it's kind of hard to film this and do it at the same time. See how it kind of spilled down a little bit? That's because I got a little bit too much solder and a little too much heat. So I'll just smooth that out and then... Okay, it's very noisy right now. Somebody flushed the toilet or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, then I just gotta go back. Add some more solder here. I think I need a little bit more flux. Just because I want to smooth this out. There we go. In some spots, I mean, I have to add solder like two or three times. So, so far. Oops. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm paying attention to what I'm doing and I didn't realize I was out of frame. Okay, let's do some time lapse because this is going to take forever. So I just want to call attention to this. So if I only tinned this, um, like if I just grab some solder and just tin it, you, that doesn't add any extra support. It doesn't look very nice and it does nothing. So what we want, so it's so flat and just kind of flimsy looking. We want to build up our solder bead so it's nice and rounded. And that'll add a little bit of support to the edge and just make it look nice and finished. Another thing that beating the edges does, I don't know if I can really um, show it. So, okay, you can kind of see here. So this side right here is just tinned. And you can see how flat that is. This side has the bead on it. You can see how it's rounded itself nicely around the foil. So. 
I'll just keep going.